let's run through a quick tutorial on the FCC app. We're going to start with incidents today. Let's click on incidents and the dashboard here is going to give you your top three categories. These are your top three patterns of behavior that are affecting your case. These change as you enter incidents, so you may see new ones appear and other ones drop off. This helps you um, focus on what is the most important thing facing your case right now so that you can quickly and efficiently explain it to a professional when, when needed. You're able to search and filter for specific patterns here right on the dashboard and type in any keyword that you're looking for, such as police, if you're looking for all of the police reports or children's services and that all these reports and anywhere that has those words will pop up here. Let's add an incident. So this is where you're gonna be adding an incident, something that happened today. Let's go in here and talk about a co-parenting issue that happened today. Um, I advised the other parent that the child has a sore throat and I've booked a doctor appointment. The other parent responded aggressively and canceled the doctor appointment, leaving us the only option being a walk-in clinic, okay? So this is a very generic description just to show you how we do it. You might wanna add the medical note here or the communication between you and the other parent and then add the incident. You're then gonna see it populate down here. So now if you wanna look at all your co-parenting issues, you could just filter that and they're all gonna come up here so you can quickly at a glance see what's going on. The attendance section, is where you can log parenting time or events that are happening for your child and you wanna see if the other parent is showing up, how many they've attended or not attended. You first wanna go into the calendar and add the event. You'll see some events are already in here. Let's go in here and add an event today. So other parents visit. If we wanna make this recurring or we wanna make it on certain days of the week, then we choose repeat, and we want to repeat this one weekly. Let's say every two weeks. It's a bi-weekly visit. We choose save, and then we're going to see that populate here. Okay, so that's showing up there. Then we go back to the list view over here. So there's calendar view. This is where you're entering the, the event. And now that it's entered, you don't have to come back here unless there's something new to add. So you're going to operate now from now on in the list view. And these are all the upcoming dates that you've got in the calendar. Here are the past dates. And you'll see here is where you're going to be logging it as attended or not attended. And depending on what you choose, you're able to pick no show. Did they give you notice or not? If they gave you notice that they're canceling a visit, you can choose cancellation and then update any details and add the text message or the co-parenting record um, to back up what you're saying. If you choose attended, it's pretty straightforward. You're just entering details. If they're late, you can enter that here. They've attended, however, they were 45 minutes late. Okay, and then you just save that. And you'll see now October 25th, when we go back to the calendar, is now listed gr as green, which means they attended. So you'll start to see this become a colorful calendar and you can quickly and easily see at a glance um, how they're doing with their attendance. You can click over here and then you're able to explain to a court out of the 61 events this year, so far the, apparent, the other parent has not attended almost half of them. OK, so this is really powerful information when you're going into court. Having statistics like this and keeping track of this kind of information is really important. Let's go over to inviting your lawyer now. If you wanted to invite your lawyer to your account, you can do that right here. You just enter their email address, click send invite. They will get an email. They must use that email, click the link in it and either register for an account or they will automatically be linked to your account because maybe they already have an account for their other clients. 
So once they're attached here, you can remove them. Let's say you're switching lawyers, you need to remove them and add someone new. You can do that all yourself right here. What they get when they are um, approved on your account is access to the report section here. So they will have access to incident reports and the attendance report. So we'll go there and see what it looks like. Just for clarity, your lawyer does not have the ability to edit any of your records. The idea here is that they can pull the information out and all of the evidence that you've uploaded so that they can better prepare for court for you. So let's say you're you're going into court and you're talking about decision making. Your lawyer is going to want to pull out all of the co-parenting issues. And so let's generate that report. This is what it's going to look like at a glance. OK, so you can see, all right, we've got four incidents there. And we've got some attachments here. So some, some evidence is uploaded as well. What you want to do is export, and that is going to dump it into an Excel format. So a, a CSV format. You can open this in Google Sheets or Excel. Your lawyer most likely has that program, and you can get a free one online, such as Google Sheets. The purpose of this exported report is to show you all of the incidents and be able to sit there and analyze and decide which one do we want to talk to the court about. And once you've decided which ones are priority and which ones may be next time or maybe they don't rise to the level of needing court help, um, once you've made those decisions with your lawyer or on your own if you're self-representing, then you can come back here and go, okay, I need the evidence for this incident and that incident and you just pull out what you need. So you click on download files and then you'll get the evidence. 